Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is your midweek reading or next 24 hours reading, Pisces. Ooh, you've got a three of swords. Hmm. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today, it is for the Pisces sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for you, all right? This reading for today, it is for you. This is a love and general situationship reading for you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the bell. Click the bell now. Oh, you've got the lover's card. And click subscribe, okay? And if you would like to further connect with my channel, Pisces, I invite you to also check out our, you know, website. Be part of our mailing list or newsletter. We send out new moon, full moon, uh, bonus reading, up astrology update, and um, a lot of good vibe stuff, okay? So if you want to receive that via email, please do join our mailing list and don't forget to check out our setting intention manifestation candle this is free shipping worldwide it comes with a free tracking number and more freebies if you want to check it out the details it is down the description box below okay all right so pisces let us see what's happening towards you what can i get for pisces please next 24 hours i'm doing this today um, Mercury retrograde is officially done, finished. We're moving towards a forward motion, Pisces, okay? Um, you started off with a strength card. You know, you felt like there was, um, you feel like in the last two months, you know, um, there has been a lot of, like you're, you're weak, you know, you, your strength has been focused into cleaning up, clearing up, or there's something with, you know, the strength card. This is um, if you're dealing with a Leo. But you feel like you've been challenged by a lot of energy that is related to home, family, or in general. I really feel like there's a lot of things that's been delayed, you know. You might have felt things are really moving slow in the last two weeks, two months for you, like you felt like there's a there was like a force downtime from the universe. Now this would change because you know we're going direct. You know, I feel like February month it is a good month for us. We're we're gonna start to see real result. Okay. Like the judgment card. Something tells me that there's some sort of announcement. Okay. Some sort of update, a very important update or announcement. It could be connected to family or work. I feel like there is a very good uh, information announcement. It could be, it could be that you're gonna get some sort of message that you're gonna get. Sorry, it could be that you're gonna get a message about money, or for some of you, um, there's someone in the family that would get a big bonus. There's something about a monetary support that you would get, or you will hear that one of your closest friends or family will get a money update. And you are so happy for them. I feel like in the next 24 hours, you've been helping, like you've been helping and supporting this friend or loved ones. And um, because you've been supporting and helping, finally you will get a very nice update that this person that you're supporting, helping, listening, you know, nine of pentacles, they will be stable. Like they will, you, someone will update you that, oh, okay, I'm, I'm stable now. I'm okay. Thank you. You know, that's like a good karma coming your way, you know, judgment card for some of you directly, you will get an update in the next two weeks or probably, you know, next week from your, company that you're going to get this bonus or additional uh, re remuneration increase but there's a good good loving vibe about a family member about the loved ones and about money coming away a very very good update okay so when you hear this update you can really say oh, finally some good things are coming around like some good thing is happening like things are gonna start to pick up with you again in terms of home in terms of career okay now you've got five of wands and you've got an ace of swords you've got an admirer okay 
you Pisces, you have someone who is um, interested with you, connected with you. You have an admirer, okay? For some of you, this admirer, I feel like it's two of wands. This is someone you're dating or getting to know. Um, for some of you, it could be a past lover, but they admire you. Now, the thing with this person, Pisces, is that they're very, very shy. There's something with this person that they are insecure. They're very shy. They're not very open about their feelings towards you. I don't know if you still are talking to this person, but this person is very shy. It could be that you're more, in terms of portfolio or personality, you're more, like, maybe more famous more established, but they have some sort of insecurity. This person is insecure. They don't talk a lot. They don't speak a lot how much, how much they miss you and they admire you. So if you're wondering, Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, what's wrong? What is the hold up? Why is this person not being so interactive? I feel like this is just a getting to know or dating, okay? It's because of that. Or for some of you, you have an ex who... They haven't really fully expressed what they want because they're insecure. Because when they left you, it was like a mess. And now they're connecting with you and you're looking like a star and a lover. So this is a very love reading where someone is wanting to connect with you, but they've got to overcome their insecurity. They have to overcome their shyness you know i feel like you're so available you know nine of pentacles you're available you're talking to them you're very direct you're pretty obvious that you are romantically interested with this person you're there i mean i'm really feeling like nine of pentacles i'm single i'm ready to mingle and you're sending all of the romantic vibe and the person is aware of that the person is aware that you want a lover okay the person that you're dealing with, they are aware that you want love, you want a romantic partnership, you want you want a boyfriend, a girlfriend, you want marriage, you want everything about love. There is nothing wrong with you. You have given them all of the sign and symbolism, symbolism, synchronicity, all of what you can give to make them feel that you're interested. You've given that. You're simply dealing with a person who is shy, introvert, or there is a lot of wondering and wishing that they could speak to you in a manner that they're confident, you know? Star card, you have, you know, two of wands. You have the hermit card, because hermit card, lover's card, you've potentially said your part, express your feelings. You have shown all of whatever it is that you can show them for them to pick up that you're romantically wanting to, you, know, like you want a romantic link up, you know, you, the, what you want is a romantic linkage or romantic energy. They know that, they get that, because I'm really feeling like a bit of frustration from you, like what is the hold up? Why am I being ghosted? Or why is this person taking it slow and this and that? It's not you, it is them, you know? They wish they would have the ability to speak. They wish they would have the ability to really be a go-getter and express themselves well. They have a lot of insecurity. I don't know. I feel like this is rooting towards family. Maybe you, maybe, maybe the, there's something with their family, childhood trauma that is preventing them to speak up. Or maybe they've got this previous relationship where it was really bad that... um that it made them guarded. Um, this person, the reason why they're holding up, they're slow, they're insecure, because they cannot take a rejection. They don't like rejection. It, it's really gonna hurt them if they're rejected. So they're really playing it, they're really playing, sorry, they're really playing it safe and cool, and they're acting super duper slow. Yeah, this person is like that and a lot of insecurity. But they do follow you, they check you, they say hi, they say hello. You know, whenever you give up on this person, they come around. They show up out of nowhere, out of the blue. So that is where your your hearts keep a beat and hope that, you know, why can it be? It's probably the timing, you know, the star card. You know, they're not dating anyone. It's only you. They're dealing with a personal, I think, I would say trauma or insecurity. That 
issue is something that they need to work on so if you're kind of wondering what's the hold up is it me what did i do nothing wrong with you my darling it is your person i'd say they're available but not brave enough strong enough not courageous enough to take a risk you know to be vulnerable because when you love you will be happy but you also get disappointed you know so they don't have they're so in their comfort zone in the bubble that they don't want to be vulnerable although i feel like star card they're studying to be vulnerable so with the lover's card the star card you know there's some sort of hope and optimism coming from this person that one day you know they would be available that they were there would be no barrier coming from them and they will just go and dive with with love and the only downside of it is are you still available for them so yeah sometimes we do connect with people who seems to be the right person but the timing or availability is not you know good so this is one of that but there's hope the star card you know i'm seeing like march april may but i don't know if you're still keen because you're so available in here nine of pentacles so you have a choice you have a choice we always have a choice and um so this is what i have for you pisces thank you so much for being here thanks for tuning in thanks for your support thank you for everything that you do in my channel i will see you soon you have a great day bye bye